hey guys welcome to my youtube channel i'm maureen and this is a desk crochet so today i'll be taking you through a tutorial of how to make this beautiful crochet crop top and it's inspired by jess hunt and her initial crop top design was made by Fo white fox boutique you can check it out so this is the final product of how our work is going to look like after the tutorial that's if you follow the tutorial and make your own and if you like crochet videos don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up so for the start you are going to make a slip knot and this top i was making it for a size extra small so because of that i had to make a chain of 20 but if you are size medium you have to make a chain of 25 and if it's just according to your bust size so after making 20 you're going to go into the second chain from the hook with a half double crochet and we're going to half double crochet up to the end of the chain half double crochet up to this point right here here we are approaching the end of our chain you are going to half double crochet and after that last half double crochet you're going to chain one and then turn your work go into the first chain into the first stitch with the half double crochet and you're going to half double crochet up to this point right here you make a up to your eighth row and when you reach your eighth row you have to follow this pattern that's um, that i'm going to teach you right now just like that so we are going to half double crochet back loop only make a chain of one and after making a chain of one you are going to half double crochet normally the way you have been half double crocheting and when you are done with that you are going to make a chain of one and then turn your work and now we are going to begin inserting this pattern right here so you are going to half double crochet into the this is where we've been half double crocheting from so i'll go into this first stitch with my normal half double crochet and after that i'm going to try to insert this pattern right here this i'm going to do the back loop only half double crochet this is the right side but you turn your wall like that and go into that loop at the back with the half double crochet and i'm going to do this up to the end of this row keep doing your half double crochets you see it's forming itself already so you keep doing the half double crochets in the back loops only so this is what we have i'm going to have double crochet up that point right there here we are approaching the end of our row continue working in half double crochets and in the back loops only after that you're going to chain one and turn your work and right here we are going to do a normal half double crochet a normal half a normal half double crochet from this point up to the end of the row here we are just continue setting your half double crochets up to the end of the row right here our second last half double crochet on this row on this row and this is our last half double crochet on this row we're going to chain one and turn your work and at this point we are going to continue creating this pattern insert your hook in the back loop and insert half double crochet in the back loops only from the beginning of our row to the end of the row You 
can look at our work this is the right side and this is the wrong side on the wrong side you do a normal half double crochet and on the right side you do the half double crochet back loops only that's basically the pattern on the wrong side you do the normal half double half double crochet and on the right side you are going to do the half double crochets back loops only chain one two three this is row 16 and on row 16 I chained three and um, plus one and now we are going to go into the second last sorry the second chain from the hook with the half double crochet go into that third chain from hook with the half double crochet and we are going to connect this half double crochet onto our initial work right here so as you see we had this in this row we are supposed to be going through the back loops only because this is the right side and now you are going to continue with the half double crochets in the back loops only up to this point don't forget that we chain three and this is our first increase Here we are you're going to chain normally the way you have been chaining up to this point remember we are returning with a normal half double crochet and not the back loop only so we are not going to increase but try to stop exactly right there after that chain one and turn your work and continue working in half double crochet back loops only up to the end of this row and each and every segment takes four each and every segment takes four rows we shouldn't forget that this is our third row we are going to continue with back loops only up to this point right here chain one turn your work sorry we reached four this is my fourth row you chain three and after chaining three you chain one turn your work and go into the second chain from the hook with a half double crochet you shouldn't forget that each and every segment takes four rows that's really very important in this work and on every fourth row fourth last row of our segment you are supposed to add three to add three and on the mid if you're making the middle segment you have to chain eight so here we are Turn your work don't forget the pattern on the right side we are doing a normal crochet and on the wrong on the wrong side sorry on the wrong side we are doing a normal half double crochet and on the right side we are doing the back loops only and make sure that each and every segment takes four rows This is what we have. You're going to chain one, two, three. Remember, on your fourth row, you are supposed to do start another segment. This is what we have. Continue. 
we are going to make four rows in this segment following the same pattern we've been doing and after that on the middle segment we are going to make a chain of eight Continue working in back loops only up to the end of the row. And you shouldn't forget that this segment should be having four rows in it. Chain one, turn your work. Continue with a half double crochet. On a row, if you work on a row with the normal half double crochet and then that means the following row you are, you are supposed to make the half double crochet back loops only you shouldn't forget that here we are We are going to go through the back loops because in the previous row we made the, the normal half double crochet so for this row we are supposed to make the back loops only half double crochet this is what we have We are going to make a chain of eight this is the middle our middle segment make a chain of eight in this middle segment and then chain one then you're going to turn with a half double crochet into the second loop from the hook second chain from the hook and you continue working in half double crochets up to the end of this row You shouldn't forget that we are supposed to insert our back loops after that chain one turn your work and then do the normal half double crochet if in one row you do the half the half double crochet in the back loops only the following row you have to do the normal half double crochet so this is what we have Remember, each segment has four rows in it. So the middle segment got to have four rows in it too. This is our second row. In the middle segment, of course. Chain one, turn your work and make the normal half the, the back loops only, half double crochet. Don't forget that if in one row you make the normal half double crochet in the following row, you have to make half double crochet in the back loops only. So this is what we have. This is the third row of our middle segment. And again, this is our fourth row of our middle segment that we are doing right now. So after making the fourth row of our middle segment, you are going to cut your yarn and pull out the loop just like that. This is what we have. You can look at that, the pattern is really beautiful. So at this point, we are going to insert our yarn. We are going to begin working, let's say, on if this was the right part, we are going to begin working on the left part. So since we chained eight last time you have to count eight and insert your yarn into the ninth into the ninth stitch and we are working in the this is the right side of our work after making the slip knot chain one and after chaining one you are going to 
make a single crochet just all this is to make our yarn stick to our work and after that we are going to continue with the pattern so for this row remember you're supposed to do the half double crochet in the back loops only continue doing this up to the end of the row and don't forget that each and every segment has four rows in it so this is our first row of our decreasing segment after chaining one turn your work make the normal half double crochet because this is the wrong side or the right side the wrong side of our work this is the wrong side of our work you have to do the no more half double crochet up to this point right here this is what we have and we're supposed to make four rows of this and after making four rows we shall be remaining with two more segments and after those two segments we shall be making our extension of the top remember we first worked with the extension of the top before we began our segments so the first segment is considered done Don't forget that if you're working on the with the wrong side of our top facing you, you have to do the normal half double crochet. And when you're working with the right side of our tops facing you, you have to do the half double crochets in the back loops only. Here we are. These are four rows done. So that's the first decrease of our left side of the top this is what we have we are remaining with two more segments before we begin working with the extension of the top this is what we have remember the other time we counted three to increase so we have to count three stitches to decrease decrease by three stitches remember the other when we were increasing our top we were working with an increase of three stitches so at this point you are going to count three this is what you have just like at this point you are going to count the first stitch to the first stitch the second and the third and you're going to make a slip knot into the fourth stitch at this point right here remember we made three segments on our left side we are supposed to make three segments on our right side too i'm not counting the middle one but of course it's also there three segments on the left so three segments on the right wrong side facing you that's that means you're supposed to do the half double crochet the normal half double crochet and not the back loops only half double crochet This is what we have. Chain one.
and your work is that you no more have double crochet from the beginning of the row to the end of this row remember each and every segment must have four rows in it just like what you are doing before After that you are going to cut your yarn so these are two segments done that means you're going on to our last segment because on the right side we have three segments so on the left we should be having three segments too count three a decrease of three and insert your yarn into the fourth stitch from the hook right there make a slip knot make a slip knot and then follow the pattern remember we are adding it onto our right side of the top so after that you just have to continue working in the half double crochet back loops only up to that point here we are chain one turn your work remember each and every segment has four rows in it so that was our first row and this is our second row first row is over a segment you have to do it back loops second row the normal half double crochet third row back loops and the fourth the no more half double crochet this is our second row sorry this is our last row actually i skipped the last two just make sure that you make four rows in each and every segment this is what we have so at this point we are going to insert our yarn count three insert your yarn and now at this point you are going to be making the extension of the top and you are simply going to continue following the pattern up to when you are done with your top Remember for my top I made an extension of I made an extension of 16 rows So after making my last row, this is my last row, I'm going to single crochet around my work. But first I'll do a single crochet around this part of my work, single crochet up to the last row right here up to the end of the row I mean and after doing that I'm going to make a return row making uh, holes into this work you're going to make a chain of three turn your work you're going to skip the first 
stitch from the hook and go into the, so not from the hook go into the second stitch insert your hook and make a single crochet and we're going to single crochet up to this point right here where we shall be inserting our other hole make a chain of three after making a chain of three skip one stitch and single crochet into the next so after this i'm going to i'll be making a half double crochet around this part of our work the top part and I'll make up double crochet up to this point right here where after when I reach this point I'll be inserting the two holes that I inserted on the other side so insert your half double crochet you can just insert it into any space that you can find there's no specific space you need I'll have double crochet up to this point and when I reach this point I'll be having to insert my single crochet and insert my holes too I'm going to insert these holes into this part right here We are done so you are going to cut your yarn and the only job remaining is to use a darning needle to sew in your ends or weave in your ends I should say and after that your top is done so the part remaining is we shall be making the buckle cord I use the buckle cord style but it's the string that we shall be using to make our and that's what she'll be using to tie at the back of our top so we are going to make that string right now and you're going to begin off by making a slip knot and after making a slip knot you're going to make a chain of three that's one two three and now you're going to go into the second last chain from the hook with a and pull up a loop go into the last chain on the and going to the last chain and pull up a loop you have three now you're going to pull off two loops from your hook and pull up a loop through the remaining loop on your hook go into the middle loop pull up a loop go into the last loop and the end of up pull up a loop so three pull off two pull, uh, pull up a loop through the remaining loop on the hook go into the middle loop pull up a loop go into the last and pull up a loop so whenever you have three loops on your hook you have to pull off two and now after pulling off two you yarn over and pull up a loop through the remaining loop on your hook and go into the middle loop that you pulled off and yarn over then pull up a loop through that middle loop you go into the last loop and yarn over and pull up a loop that, through that same loop until you have three loops on your hook and when you have three you again pull two loops off your hook and just continue the process that's how our string forms itself So this is what I have right now and I'll continue doing the same thing until I, I reach the level that I want, the length that I want, I mean.
and now that you are done you are simply going to cut your yarn and this is our work so you are going to bring your string and simply insert it into the holes that we made into this top so here we are insert your string and don't forget I the only thing remaining after this is that you need to cut off the, the yarn the remaining yarn or you can simply weave it in using a darning needle or whatever you have in your hand so here we are just inserting our yarn our string into our top so when you're done this is what you'll be having in your hands I normally just cut off my excess yarn instead of weaving it in. Ah, you are done with your top. This is what you have. I'll simply cut off this yarn. Simply cut it and remain with clean work and I'll do the same thing to the other excess yarn. So this is what we have our top is done and after you'll be having something like this don't forget that I made this for a size extra small so you need the magic happens at the number of chains that you make you can either make 20 for extra small 25 for mid small 30 for medium and continue adding so if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you have questions you can dm me on my instagram page and that's a zs crochet or you can leave it in the comment section below i'll be glad to get back to you and don't forget to subscribe and you can check out other crochet videos on my youtube channel thank you happy crocheting